totally there. That pass from Boomsong was uh, mistimed, but it's uh, Kalu Pillars coming over now. Oh, what an unbelievable goal! Unbelievable goal! That man is unstoppable, and what a buy he's proven to be. What does goal number three for Christian Obioso? He took that header superbly well. Getting the big ups from his teammates on the bench. A Jogu, well, he doesn't know what to say, but that's a superb third goal of the competition for Christian Obioso to give Canopilas the lead. It did appear nothing much was happening here. When they picked up the ball and spread it round to the right, a Joma Rebwe pinpoint cross. And how about that for a diving, glancing header? That was a super finish from Christian Obioso. Nothing, absolutely. Obioso, uh, beg your pardon, a Jogu could do about that. It looks like he's arrived at where he should have been. a super strike <coughs> this young man appears to be capable of much more than we've seen him do it's a new one for me Christopher Piazza with the set piece a superb one looking for the top corner and that was uh, the Arugo Monkey at full stretch to parry that into a corner kick as far as the scoreline is concerned Ball played forward by Ravi Ali. He fights Obioso with, uh, oh, that's a super, super cross from Obioso. He's having it as if he was not there. That was some wonderful display of skill. And Emmanuel Anya was the before this tournament. They had been built to face each other, and once they were invited to this tournament, that, well, that was an own goal. Just like that, kind of pillars are level. Well, that's a young man that hardly makes mistakes, but he made a monumental mistake this time, uh, gifting an equalizer to kind of pillars, perhaps just slightly deserving. From uh, Captain Musa Ojo, and just like that, kind of pillars are level. Well, that's a young man that hardly makes mistakes. The trigger there, he seemed to square for that, but... I want to get a bit closer. Pillars looking ominous again. And that should be a goal. Be too, have, uh... too easily, if you ask me. Too easily, if you ask me. And uh, at a time like this, well, another opportunity. And that one is the second goal. Two goals in how many minutes <laughs> two goals in two minutes really that's incredible they are making it look so easy championship stuff and uh, you can see it written all over them uh, that's the new man christian Ubioso, uh from rangers international a modest old club and uh, <laughs> it looks like they're taking apart dolphins i mean it's just too easy just look at this very wide open for obioso a dangerous man that he is he simply picked his spot and smashed it low into the bottom left hand corner there was absolutely nothing that man uh, could do about it sunday rotty me i mean this is a poor defending at his very best i mean that that's a uh, very easy two nil to cano pillars we're just about the halfway stage of the first uh, half here at the member of the national stadium well that should have been number that uh, you can see well that was quite some save from sunday rotting me but in the middle of all of that there was that and uh, you would expect that he is as yet quite uh, a rough diamond and when he really comes into his own he would make a great player and uh, Pillars still asking those questions and the shot called for and the great save you see him as somebody who could do a lot more you think he has the potential to do much more than he's been able to deliver yet 
uh, on the big stage. We are using this tournament as uh, a dress rehearsal for their international involvement and uh, a free kick again to Kano Killers. Well, uh, Dolphins really at sixes and sevens on how to control this rampaging Obio Kano Killers. Uh, Pillars last year's champions just the one point ahead of Ayimba. Well, that, that was a, a blatant foul. And um, he's got to watch it at Yobami and Shekunowo. Could easily get booked for that because uh, he really took to pull one back here. Then they'll be back in the game this time. It do seem that Pillars have taken their foot off the handle and well, that well, what was that in aid of offside, perhaps? But uh, I, I thought that uh, Ubioza should have the way the set piece. But again, just like the rest they had, it's come to nothing for Dolphins. And it's Pillars who are on the front foot looking for that third goal. That's uh, a super tackle there by Ayobami Ayub Ashekerowo to deny Christian Ubioza. Hit them in this game. They couldn't possibly have expected that confirmation of the Ruben Obuna yellow card. And that one just went across the face of goal. That should have been at least one goal pulled back by Kano Pillars. Ubong Ekpai was uh, just inches away from that ball. Yeah, I wonder what Ubong was thinking about. I think um, Obiada had done um, the best he could do. Um, return the, return, I mean, with his height, return the ball. Ubong wasn't just um, expecting, I mean, at that point, he should be expecting the ball close, but not close enough. Had uh, Monday Osage in front of him, and so he just couldn't make anything out of it. Wounded Wolves, they've got two goals. I hope they continue the second half as Wounded Wolves, and um, let's see if they can get more goals. And that's a goal for finally for Canopilas, um, Christian or Biozo. The tall man, he's been busy in this, um, I mean, the last um, 10 minutes, busy in the midfield, busy in the attack, and finally. Um, Christian Obioso has reduced the tally for Kano Pilato. Obioso has hit one. A second goal in this competition. And the easy does it. He just side footed that one in easily. No, nope, nothing, absolutely nothing Daniel Akwe could do about it. And that was poor clearance again. Usenda here had enough and enough space to put the ball behind to fill out to the other side. He didn't do that. Um, that's a foul. Good luck on Namado. He would be lucky to escape. Um, so he clearly shows that um, in this particular case, he's a guilty one. I thought that was contact, yeah. But then he gets a yellow card. I actually thought that was, that was some level of contact players so to keep calm that is in control Obioso a chance to redeem his name here Obioso goes it is a goal for Enyma International goal number one Christian Obioso makes no mistake at all uh, from the penalty spot and it is Rangers down in Enugu to former Rangers Obioso's goal from the penalty spot. The boo for Obioza as he shows the fans a t-shirt with inscription that he has come here with. When it comes to taking spot kicks, Christian Obiozo is their man, and on this occasion, he makes no mistake. Tried as Itodo Ako did, that ball found its way into the net. Yet another free kick converted by Obiozo. By the way, who wasn't too brilliant, and perhaps he's here to fully forgive them for the way he left. But a lot of people fell back to bench so early. The chance for Ayimba! Left footed, nice goalkeeping. I wouldn't give anything to Misa. This was the chance that Obiozo, wonderful technique there dropping the ball and the wonderful shot from Peter Onyekachi but the veteran John Ngadi made sure he had that ball in his sight but wonderful technique there by Obiozo Christian to drop the by Obiozo Christian to drop the ball down lovely left-footed short and of course an equally left lovely save 
uh, from goal. But good enough, the boy is matured physically. The chicken that we knew last year was not this big. Here comes a chance for Ayimba. Not there. We thought Christian Obioso had gone all out, but he unselfishly laid the ball there for Peter Onyekachi. But brave goalkeeping from the very experienced John Ngadi. He spread himself like a giant. And in the process, some part of his body, precisely his leg this time around, shifted that ball. Great goalkeeping from... Take another look at that. A brave, 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 fantastic goalkeeping from Uluacha. A chance for a cross. Players converging in the box. And a chance at all! It's 1-1! One, one. And it's Christian Obioso that finally got to the end of that uh, shot from Eto. Obioso, a player in form, a striker in consistency in the past and matches. His hit is the fourth goal of the season. And what a time for him to do that, and what a team to play against and score against Javier Warriors. 1-1. And we're going to hopefully go into the locker room for the end of the first half but with that 1-1 scoreline. We'll wait for that. Christian Obiozo has really developed. You saw him take this, appeared from nowhere, up down the letters pass, and tapped the ball past the veteran in Gadi. Now he has a poacher's instinct. That is another part he's added to his game of late. When he was at Rangers, he seemed to be a player that didn't have much potential. But ever since he left the Volcano Pillars, and now Aimba, he's been unstoppable once on the pitch.